What's going on guys? Uh, today we are going to go after Patchouli Knowledge, the very first stage in her little castle. This shows how truthful Megamari is to Mega Man 2, to the point where she even does the eyebrow wiggle uh, before she enters her castle. If you've ever played any of the classic Mega Man games, then you should know of Dr. Wily's eyebrow dance before he flies off into his castle. The only difference is his castle was never as fabulous as Patchouli Knowledge's. Starting off, the first stage in her castle, uh, it starts off with a very nice sunset look in the background, and probably one of the biggest enemy gauntlets I've ever seen. Um, this is truly a, a level that you want to take uh, in little steps, because as you can see, if you just start running through it, you will more than likely be barraged to the point of your death. Oh hey, that's nice. There are a ton of fairies and a ton of FOEs, and uh, the bunny mechs from Aaron's stage are back. Um, they're not as unmanageable this time, thankfully, but they're still kind of a nuisance. One weapon that would be good for going through this stage is the Rolling Slash, because of how it can just destroy everything really easily. Up there, where the spike platform is, is one of the most difficult things that I've ever had to accomplish in platforming games. I sure have been doing my fair share of practicing at this stage um, to very little effect, but oh well. Anyway, um, here's what I mean by the rolling slash being a good. Oh, okay, never mind. And yes, I will be using Dr. Wily, or Dr. Wily? I will be using weapons through the uh, patchouli knowledge stages just to keep my sanity something I'd rather prefer having for these kind of stages anyway here's what I mean by the rolling slash being good in this kind of stage is that it just it's very nice for clearing out all the uh, enemies here we have the prism river sisters they are back again um, for more of their shield shenanigans Uh, it can be very difficult to manage your health in, this, in these stages, so I'd recommend trying to keep good charge of that. Um, what I tend to do is tend to lure these FOEs down here, like so, except for this last one who likes to be uncooperative. And that's how you get through that part of the room. Uh, here we have something that's kind of reminiscent of uh, Dr. Wily's stage one. Oh, okay. I thought I was almost died there. Um, is this part of the stage uh, where you have to climb a ladder and you actually have to use the rush jet, or in Marissa's case, the broom, uh, to make that jump? Something I actually didn't know when I first made it to Dr. Wily's castle is that uh, you had to use the rush jet there in Mega Man 2. I was stuck there for a really long time when I was a kid. The fairy gauntlet is not yet over, but um, we are, I believe, at the halfway point, or at least near there. But now, the ghosts from Yuiko's stage are here to join the fun. Again, take it in short little steps, and you should be good, but um, it's still something that you really have to be careful with. Not Yu- er, well, the ghosts are from Yuiko and Yomu's stages, so hooray for that. Speaking of Yuiko and Yomu, that's one thing I'm looking forward to. The boss room, but we'll get to that when it comes. Um, don't bother with those ghosts. They're more trouble than they're worth. Same with these ones. Here we are reaching the end of the stage. We just have to accomplish a few more things. Luckily, these fairies aren't too difficult to take out, and the room for the rest of or the rest of the room for the most part is pretty clear. Here you're going to want to use your time stopper, and I'll show you why. Yep. Staying true to Mega Man 2, it even has the force beams from Quick Man Stage. God damn it! I'll be right back. 
Yes, the force beams are very annoying. They uh, kill you in one hit, and they're one of the most infamous parts of Quick Man's stage. This Quick Man's stage. I believe they're actually in the uh, Dr. Wily Mega Man 2 stage. Anyway, uh, we're going to try this again. Thankfully, we should have enough weapon energy to make it through this time, but just to be sure, I'm just going to pre-activate it. A lot of these uh, rooms you can actually just go through speedrun style, but mm, that's not really the style for me. There we go. These FOEs aren't uh, too bad to uh, take out. It's actually kind of cool to combo them like that. And hey, we have medicine again. We haven't seen you since Aaron's stage. Nice to see you. How you been? Thankfully, because we have that one up, we actually have uh, a few more lives, which is nice. And we actually have full health on both characters, which means that I can actually use the weapon that is good against the boss. Now the boss, I've had a lot of trouble with so far. Probably one of the most difficult bosses I've ever had to deal with in my life. You'll see that when it comes. Excuse me, just drinking some coffee. Anyway, let's just get right onto the boss. We have to fight Yukari Yakumo. Her weakness is the Force Crisis, which is very convenient because in only like three hits she'll go down to half health. So what you want to do is keep Alice as at as mo most of health th as you can, have Marissa take most of the hits, and then just attack Yukari when you can. Unfortunately, that happens a lot. Um, it's very difficult to not fall into the abyss, so it helps to uh, try and not <laughs> do that. But like I, like I said, there's really not much that can stop you from falling into the abyss unless you're really good with the broom or something. If you're good with the Force Crisis, then you can take out a large majority of her health um, before uh, Chen and Ran c even come out. Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned that. She spawns Chen and Ran, who like to shoot their bullets at you. You can kill them with the, uh, or with Yuiko's weapon, but they're more trouble than they're worth, so I wouldn't recommend it. Damn it! Ugh! This is easily one of the most annoying bosses in, really, video games, in my opinion. But, whatever. Um, one thing you can do if you're ever running low on the energy for the Force Crisis, um, since there's no enemies up here, you can go down here and pick up these two small energies. They're not much of help, but I mean, hey, they're better than nothing. So let's go ahead and try this again. If your timing is good enough, you can actually uh, get her down to absolutely half health, which is nice. This battle requires a lot of concentration so that you don't fall. Oh, damn it! Oh my god! Alright, we have one life left. Let's see if we can do anything. If I actually make it this time, I'm going to be extremely surprised and probably have some kind of crazy reaction, but oh well. It is very difficult to aim the Force Crisis correctly at her. You have to be very precise, which is not my area of expertise. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Force Crisis. Okay. So far we have her below- NO! Oh! No. <sighs> this has been happening to me for quite a while, but I've come to the conclusion that as much as I practice, I probably won't be able to do too much, so I might as well get it out of the way as soon as possible. Anyway, I'll be right back. Yeah, this is one of the most annoying stages in Mega Mario history. Because Mega Mario hasn't been in history, but... I don't know. But the more I fight, the more I seem to become impatient, the more health I lose when I actually get to Yukari, so... I guess it should be good for her. It, it's, I guess kind of a good thing that I'm not practicing too much, because then... 
I mean, I have to give the stripes to play with Mario even more because I honestly have been the stripes to play this game just because of this one level. I actually did manage to beat it one time, uh, and the rest of level two of special knowledge actually isn't that bad. It's just this one that's just crazy. Like, man. Like, I, mean, I know that, uh, Mega Man 2, Dr. Wily, like, at least escalated in difficulty. This one just starts you out, like, in the extremes of the difficulty. It's crazy. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, that's crazy. Okay, that's crazy. I don't know how this enemy got and cost it so much I also talked last time, because it didn't cost that much here, but apparently, unless that's somewhere. Getting back into a corner like this against, uh, that one prisoner just to say, it's actually very inconvenient, because getting back into a corner like that can make a lot of the shots undodgeable. Please be a friend with these, make my stage, undodgeable attacks. What's up with that? Man, it sucks. I'm doing it for dying. This is probably going to take an asshole to find the run there, if I'm going to be fine. Oh. Because I should be seeing this product, so whatever. You can tell how much I've been practicing, and I'm not how much I've been practicing, and I've been practicing for one day. I don't know, I guess some of the practicing I've been taking pretty seriously, as you need to with actual knowledge stages, I guess. The reference I've found uh, after my uh, playthrough are probably the most annoying for me, because um, they tend to like to uh, evade your shots very annoyingly. And they take the most out of all the fairies to kill, like most shots. And because they tend to take uh, these levels without any weapons, it's probably a mistake on my part. Oh, that's actually really funny. Because they tend to take the most out of all the fairies to kill, like most shots. And because they tend to take the most out of all the fairies to kill, like most shots. And because they tend to take the most out of all the fairies to kill, like most shots. And because they tend to take the most out of all the fairies to kill, like most shots. This is honestly, like, unbearable. This is how difficult it is, so, my god. Like, I understand this game is supposed to be a mix of Mega Man and Soho's two really hard series, but, god damn, Twilight Frontier, you really were not messing around with this one. Thankfully, they were kind enough to put a one up there, but extra life there. If I wasn't such a fan of wuss, I would go get that mushroom tank, but, eh, yeah, really cares this day and age. Hmm, I'm gonna get that one else. I have to be so strategic about this, like, ooh, which weapon, or which, how much health should I give this character? This is not the game, dude. And now we are back. And because I actually have full health on both characters, that means that I don't even have to uh, sacrifice myself uh, against Yukari. I can just. Damn. Oh, okay. Alright. So far, so. meh, I guess been going all right these platforms can honestly like be really distorting They're pretty difficult to pay attention to at the same time as dodging Yukari's shots and all that no 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 okay okay no 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 okay 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 oh god okay <laughs> this is probably kind of annoying to a lot of you guys but I will These kind of noises are an unfortunate sacrifice to fighting Yukari. I definitely bit off more than I can chew with uh, this whole playthrough thingamabobber. Damn it! And I was doing so okay. How much energy do I have left with the uh, Force Crisis? Enough. I have enough. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, that's a good start. Okay, one hit, that kind of sucks, but whatever. I'll actually try killing Ran this time. Okay, that's not going too well. Okay. It's very awkward to aim the Force Crisis because you have to be facing away from Yukar. Oh, okay. Alright. How many lives do I have left? Two, alright. I'm gonna have to refill the force crisis here. I'm just gonna keep going right now. Like, until I get interrupted by someone walking in or something. I'm just gonna keep going, see how far I can go. Which means that this is probably gonna have to be put into multiple parts, but oh well. That's the nature of the beast, I suppose. Alright, Yukari. How well do you feel like cooperating today? Um, apparently decently, considering that I got her down to half health. Let's see if this trend at Hot Topic can continue. Um, I sure as hell hope so, because, I mean, yeah, I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Except for the Hot Topic analogy, that was weird. Okay, um, didn't get any hits on her at that, uh, at that round, unfortunately, so, I don't know. 
So far, the platforms are being fairly cooperative, thankfully. Are you kidding me? One just went away, and then another one spawned, but I went through it. That was so stupid. Oh my god. Alright, uh, one more shot. See how well I can do this time. Come on, Yukari. You know you want to die. It's fun. Don't you want to die? Oh, I did not mean to go to that. Okay. Alright, I'm actually like really close right now. So, please, please, oh lordy Jesus. Can I kill Ikari? Oh god, this might have just sealed my fate. Die, 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 die. No! Oh no! Okay. Come on. Come on. My heart is pounding a thousand miles an hour. Come on. Come on. Yes! Yeah! 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 That is triumphant as hell, yes! Whew! Man. That is crazy. I don't even know how long this is. Man. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.